in the fated chess match between Sake and Agi-san and Ayano Koji-kun, this is the fateful position that makes everyone go like, okay, what's going on here? Okay, so this move gets played right here. Now, this is a pretty good move. Uh, you're basically, you, you're about to do something crazy, which everyone in the show is like, oh my god, this is so crazy. Okay, um, these, this game is being played at like a 1600 level. Like, I, that's generally my rating on like chess.com is like around 1600. These two, Ayano Koji and Saki Anaki, are supposed to be geniuses. Bro, we, like people like Magnus Carlsen, people like Prakna Nanda, people like Ali Reza Faruja, Ho Yi Fan, people like that in the chess world would be wiping the floor with these two players shown off in the classroom of the elite anime like this shit is just not even this position with black to move so sake yanagi plays a queen sacrifice now queen sacrifices are dope because check this out in this line the queen sacrifice you give up the queen for the night goes like this this is what happened in the show so if you take it then it's instantly check there's no way for there's nowhere for the king to go because all these are covered and all these are blocked by your own pieces and you are right there and then that is instantly checkmate so obviously you don't want to do that and that's just a calculation of like three moves which is like really amateurish however in the scene where it shows ayano koji's um like move getting like replaced because that guy's a bitch like his dad's crony's a little bitch boy um it shows that instead of g takes f it shows queen g5 now this move is sick white is completely winning so this move is pretty sick now it does a few things because the queen is still hanging so if you can just get one tempo back you can just take the queen and as long as you have like room or space for your king to run away then you're not going to get um checkmated like we just previously saw checkmate is actually being threatened and your own checkmate because this is checkmate because there are two pieces there and it wasn't defended before the queen came there is now defended so you can't take here because then i would take with the queen and then take back there and then boom you're up a bishop and rook so that obviously doesn't work so when you come here with the queen you're threatening checkmate back so if you move your queen out of the way let's say you'll just it's checkmate in one and white wins so what do you do here um the only real thing that you can do here like let's say you try to knock the queen off with the with the rook you just play the moves that you were going to play regardless you would just take the rook again because you're still doing everything the same you're still defending checkmate while actually threatening checkmate at the same time so they would take there and then you would take there and then this is the position you would get from that so you can't move your rook around like that basically you just have to take the queen now here's the difference in this position now, you'll notice the pawn is just one place different it's blocking it's a, this is what you call an umbrella pawn that blocks your opponent from attacking you with its own pieces because now if you come here it, it's not checked so you don't have to do anything in fact the white king is perfectly safe and in this position it's completely winning i could win this against like a 3000 rated player it's just you're up a rook like it's it's very if you know what you're doing in the end game it's when the queens are traded off it's easy it's just it, this when i saw this i immediately was like what is wrong with it like i don't know what the manga says i don't know if like what the light novel shows but the game they showed being played on episode 11 of season three of Cal classroom of the elite is trash i don't even make anime content i went i went to watch like a chess commentator go through this game because it's just so mid so in the post-match scene it's clear that like sake yanagi is being done dirty i haven't read the source material but sake yanagi san apparently is a child prodigy a genius if she thinks that ayano koji who she saw in the white room so she knows that he is an unparalleled unbridled genius plays a move that blunders checkmate in three from that position 
she does not have a power level like scalar thing that all high like higher rated chess players have and basically as you play chess you have like a power level you you can like see that you literally have like a power level and depending on your power level you can generally tell what other people's power levels are like over 9000 like it's very easy i can tell the difference between when i'm playing a 2200 rated player and a 2600 rated player and like a 1000 or a 400 rated player and the fact that sakayanaki could not understand in the post match scene without being told that he, she was like helped out by Ayano Koji's like father's crony. The fact that she couldn't see that he like missed this move or that like he made a blunder in this position, that would not happen. Like the fact that she couldn't tell means she didn't have like the power level scaler that like all chess players have, especially as you go up in ratings, you can clearly tell what everyone's rating is. If I had to guess Sakyanagi's actual rating, based off of like what she says in the anime, based off how she acts and how she plays, bro, she's probably like 1400, like 1500. Magnus Carlsen, for example, right now is above 2800. He has been generally his whole uh, adult career, but still like, like other child prodigies are so far above this. So it's just like, it's just sad. Now, on the other hand, this move, Ayano Koji's move, and this is actually sick. It's a queen sacrifice that is like really deep, like really, really deep. Like I, I know like the position, if you calculate it out, it's only like, uh, it's only like two moves to calculate that you're not in a losing position or that you're not getting checkmated. But to be able to find this move where it's a queen, it's a positional queen sacrifice. It's not even a queen sacrifice in the traditional sense. Like this was where you sacrifice the knight for the queen or the queen for the knight, but to be able to actually see that like, that's all you needed to do. And it also gains you a tempo by forcing your opponent to react while also defending the threat that the opponent poses. Like that, this move, that's that that's a that's a beautiful, like mwah, that's a beautiful move. And you can clearly tell Ayano Koji to be able to find this deep of a move, that would probably be like I mean, it's a classical chess game, so they have, it's a long time format. So in a classical chess format, you could probably find that move if you're around like 20, you have to be at least above 2000, which is fine, but it's not kid genius fine. 16 year olds nowadays, they, they're they at like 24, 2500. I don't know what to say. I don't know what else to say about that. It pisses me off, man. Chess is always shown to be like so crazy or so like, Oh my god, this is insane. But in reality, like most positions you see, especially in like anime like this, they they just like don't understand. They just don't understand. Like I'm I'm mid. I'm mid as fuck at chess and I'm like, "Nah, this was this was mid. Like this was a mid game." And again, because Saki and Aki can't even figure out on her own that uh this was an error that this move was uncharacteristic proves to show it just goes to show that <clears throat> Saki and Nagi actually isn't a genius when it comes to chess. So uh, anyway, uh, that's it. If you're still watching this video, don't expect more anime related content. I just wanted to vent. It just pisses me off. It just pisses me off.